Alright guys, welcome back to week number 5 of D-Rank Team League. So, uh, FGS and Fabio, Fabio have both left the game apparently. But beside the point, the map will be Neo Aztec. This will be game number 2 between uh, Team Age versus Team Star uh, Star Magnes. Um, uh, competing for um, uh, uh, Ace is going to be Demolition Boy as our yellow, uh, yellow Protoss. Um, spawning in the bottom right. In, uh, uh, in the... Bottom left-ish, it's going to be our purple Protoss, SGS's IU, uh, going to be uh, going to be competing for Star Makene. So, without further ado, uh, Demolition Boy is going to be averaging 49 uh, APM and maxing at 81 versus our SDS's or versus IU, who's going to be maxing uh, or averaging 155. I don't know, except 165 and uh, maxing at 228. So, pretty interesting stuff. So, we'll, I'll be interested to see how this TBT evolves. Um, Neo Aztec is a map that is pretty interesting. I haven't seen a lot of games on it, but, uh, you know, your your main's on the low ground. Your main's on the high ground with a, with a ramp going to it, but nothing too, too special. You tend to wall this area off, um, and most people take their gasless third over here. And then sometimes they'll take this expand over here, or depending on... Depending on where the spawns are, it's a pretty interesting map. It's definitely more unique than like Fighting Spear and uh, the other map that we. Sh uh, uh, what was the last map we did? Um, uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> Ground Zero. I think it's much much more uh, interesting. So, I believe will we be seeing identical builds? I'm not sure. I don't see a second gateway coming down for um, what's his name? Um, what's what's the yellow person's name? Uh, Demolition Boy. So I don't know. Uh, this may not be his thing. His APM is kind of laughable, uh, but I believe I said that last time, and I believe he actually ended up winning a game, so I really can't tell. Uh, but uh, still one gateway, though. I'm not sure if that's really the smart move here. He's also kind of hiding, really high in the mineral count. Should be putting down a second gateway right now. Um, going to be getting a delay to simulate it for that if he's going going for side record. This guy's already getting his gas ready. He's already sending out a zealot here, which could do some... Uh, but will he be getting his own zealot though? He will be building his own unit, so he will be a little slightly delayed. Putting down another pile in there, an interesting position. Maybe for uh, potential walling off, I don't know specifically. PvP is a very high-paced game. So uh, I'd be, I'm, I'm assuming by these builds, we're going to be seeing some early game progression. Cybercore should be going down for uh, IU, as it looks like that is exactly what's going down. IU is getting good scout and read on his opponent. He, does see, he doesn't see any Cybercore. He does see gas though. Just starting to um, saturate gas, though, and he only has one Zealot here. Uh, one Zealot already coming out for him. Will he be getting a second one, though? Uh, it looks like around the same probes as well. Um, he probably could be putting down a second gateway if he wants, uh, but no uh, no cyber core yet, either. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised by this. Uh, but he will be getting his own cyber core down. He'll also be putting a third down a second gateway. So, uh... I don't know exactly what he's doing, but uh, this is sometimes what lower league games are like. Finally putting down a Cyber Core. Uh, I mean, uh, probably standard timing if you put down a second gateway, but um, yeah, that's not. There's no second gateway to speak of. So um, yeah, um, if you, it, 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 just just straight up, I'm just, um, Demolition Boy. If you wanted to do, there's kind of two builds I've noticed with PvP. PvP can either go from, or openings at least can either be from a two gate or one gate into fast simulator, in, or one simulator into fast cyber core and get uh, early Dragoon. So it depends on what you want to go. Uh, I see a lot of PvPs, I see one player going from um, two, an early two gate, some pe and then uh, a person goes for an early two gate, and then another person attends with going uh, early cyber core and getting pumping out Dragoons. Uh, but it looks like he's going double Dragoon production right now, and he has a Dragoon and a Zealot already, which is, I, I mean, Pretty much all he has to do is kite the zealots that he should be slightly fine, especially he already has his own little zealot in the mix there. Will he forget? He's going to be getting his own dragoon though. Thankfully, he will also have range just starting. Uh, his range is almost about halfway completed. Kind of just showing the the main difference between their APMs right here. 500 minerals, yeah, not really macroing the best as he could be, uh, but it looks like he's going to be pushing here for a couple uh, units. Uh, but thankfully, uh, you know. Um, Demolition Boy actually has some units out. Thankfully, uh, he he I guess he knows that's an aggressive build, but uh, we'll be getting a, a little softening of that. It's softening of the units a little bit, but it looks like uh, 
Going to be regrouping here. We'll be sending rallying units down, though, but I just think by the sooner or later he's going to be able to outproduce Demolition Boy, getting his own double up, uh, double production going down, too. So it looks like Demolition Boy is not even that far behind, but getting it, oh, this getting a third gateway and another robotics facility. Going to go for an expand. I'm not really sure if that's the right decision right now. He has no, he has no idea what... Uh, I is going for right now. It's gonna kind of hurt him because now it's now there's gonna be a huge swell of units soon. They're gonna be coming shortly to his base, getting up a force, maybe potential cannons coming up. Uh, but when he's gonna be able to get these, uh, that he, he can either get he can either go reaver if he wants. Uh, is that gonna be no another? He's going to four gateways off of one base plus robo facility. So maybe an observatory might be coming up as well, just for potential DT coming out. Uh, which I, I know it tends to happen in PvP, but even going, they're kind of going identical builds. It's just that, um, you know, Demolition Boy, the APM is showing. You know, he's not be he's not being able to produce as much. Uh, now he's going for a fast expand, but uh, oh, he might lose the Dragoon here. Oh, he loses it. Now it's just oh, good, good for sending them back. But uh, that'll be definitely interesting how this plays out. We'll be getting that observatory up. Uh, two more pylons are going down as he is almost supply blocked. Uh, and good macro, I have to say, definitely out of uh, IU right now. He's, he is only one basing, but it's going to be 49 supply, 2, 35, 37 now. So, uh, but we'll be transferring probes over to his natural right about now. It looks like he might just be, just kind of putting units in the center right now. Could be doing a lot of damage, I mean, pretty shortly. I, I don't think he's going to be able to handle this at all. Mm. Mm. And um, going to be getting a cannon. Might be able to do some DPS on the back, but uh, Dragoons are pretty beefy units, and that is uh, eight, eight Dragoons right there versus four, and he's even saying two more down. Is he getting upgrades? Oh, it looks like there's going to be engagement happening over here. Uh, did pick off one of uh, Demolition Boy's uh, Dragoons here. We'll be able to get another uh, couple of Dragoon kills, uh, I mean, Zella kills there, and there's a can actually fending that back. I'm pretty surprised by that. i uh, probably just waiting for more reinforcements to try to he uh, break this opponent. However, it is to note, though, if you're going the super early aggression style, if you're able to hold out and while your opponent, he's, what uh, IU's doing here is is all in. If he doesn't Garrett, if he doesn't do damage here and break his opponent here, but uh, right when I'm saying that he's going to be engaging here, losing uh, one or two Zeltra, there maybe even a third one. Has to be careful. Looks like he's just going to try to go in here and go for it right now. Uh, Ken doing uh, just extra DPS, I guess. Going even for the pylon instead. Ken is the unpower now, um, and it looks like he's gonna be able. To, he's gonna outnumber him and outmass him. And yeah, it looks like he's gonna be able to break his opponent right here. The Ken's down, um, and does he doesn't really have much. Uh, Dragoon's trying to come. Another Dragoon. Third gateway is going down for uh, Demolition Boy, but I think it's just a little too late now. And we're just waiting for a GG to come out of of a Demolition Boy right now. Uh, he's even putting. He's even continuing to make more units. Still macroing on a champ. For IU and yeah, it was this is a pretty really easy win for IU right here, uh, but uh, yeah. So I just think for what what Demolition Boy kind of did wrong here. It, you you guys saw it. they were pretty much doing identical builds here, um, except for that uh, IU was going for an all-in build. But like I was saying earlier, IU forced himself to he he went for an all-in here. So if if he was able to stay and macro off the second base, he should have been able to. I would upgrade, and by later game, he would have been able to decimate IU. But due to his lack of being able to control his macro and micro and etc., I IU just took advantage of that and be like, "Well, I can just rush him anyway, and I'll just break him." He may have known that coming into the game, um, because I know you can analyze. He give they give out all their replays, so he might have been able to analyze that thing. I'm not sure if he would have been that in depth for a D rank tournament, but he may have indeed. But uh, he does have an unusually low APM. Mine's around 100, but and there's a GG by uh, Demolition Boy, but he does have an unusually low um, APM there, and I like to see him. Though. I like to see that he's still trying though. Um, it's always good to see that. So, uh, Demolition Boy, I just think you need to work on your APM, or able the APM will go up when you start macroing better. So I don't know if you use your hotkeys, but hotkeys is going to be your first step to become better. Uh, you definitely know the game. You definitely know what to do in a certain scenario situation. I just think you either don't either a have the right equipment for your computer or b you, you just you're a little slow. So it just takes practice, you know. Um, so really, you didn't do anything extremely wrong. Um, well, you, you did two noticeable things that you probably could have improved on. Uh, scout your opponent better. 
because you didn't know he was going for an all-in. I can see right now he's putting down his base, but he went for an all-in. He put down two more gateways, a robo facility. Uh, he never even used that, but uh, he even could put down probably a third, a fifth gateway if he wanted to. But he was he was pumping out units. He was trying to I would just overwhelm his opponent and break him, which he did. Um, so if you see that and you're going to go for an expand, make sure you have enough defensive buildings, i.e. cannons or you know I don't even or DTs even maybe if you wanted to if you want to try to quick and get out a DT just to prolong that attack and then build up your units. so if you're as long as you're able to defend your fast expand or just don't fast expand at all because PvP um, sometimes fast expanding is not the best thing because both players are going super early aggression most mirror matchups are going to end up in a super aggression aggression uh, aggressional style so just putting that in perspective for you but uh good game uh you were just behind maybe you know 15 seconds overall which in a pvp is gonna really hurt you in the long run maybe even longer but uh i don't even i don't even know because i don't have a clock or anything but uh i wish you best of luck in your next thing so if we look at that uh so guy gun won last game so uh no no guy gun yeah oh yeah sorry yeah guy gun won i think i actually miss miss said that Star Magnates is actually winning right now. Guy Gun is uh, one last game, and SGS is IU who's uh, competing for Star Magnates. So there are uh, Star Magnates is 2-0 in the series. So I'll be uh, We'll have to see if uh, Ace can actually make a comeback here. Um, there is six games here. So um, also remember here that you get um, during Team League. You the way you win is just the the majority of the games. It doesn't matter because these games aren't theoretically played like right after each other um this is the way the order was put up in the um on the form so that's the way i put I, it took me a while to get these all in chronological order from for, from that perspective but keep in mind though sgs is fabio versus a guy guy gun might have been the last game so that might have been the determining game but i'm going to put it in the context that we're playing these in consecutive order so don't I'm just going to say that out to you guys right now so Next game, we're going to have Lightning, uh, who's going to be a Terran player versus SGS' IU. And the interesting thing here is there have been so many substitutes between this. We have, we have Fabio versus Guy Gun. Then we have Demolition Boy versus um, SG, um, IU. Then we have Lightning versus IU again. Then we have Lightning versus Crystal Jijang, which was supposed to play... In Jijang was supposed to play in game number five, but for whatever reason, he's not playing game number five. So then then we have Fabio again versus Guy Gun again. We have, we have two... Game number one and five are the are the same matchup, a different map, and different game, but they're the same players. So we'll have to see if there's gonna be a grudge match there. And then we have Lightning again versus uh, MVP, which is new. But we're only seeing at least one. We're seeing one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven unique players in six games. Which are supposed to be all independent. That's the reason is because they have substitutes and not everyone can play in the games every week. So that's the reason why. But I've been expanding on for way too long now, and I need to take like a five-minute bathroom break, and I'll be back for game number three. So uh, Star Magnates is actually up 2-0 right now, and Ace is gonna have to make a comeback somehow. All right, peace, guys.